today we're going to go over Starship with Acumatica and how to streamline your LTL shipments. Uh, my name is Matt St. John. I'm the sales executive here at B Technologies for Starship with the Acumatica interface. Uh, center of the screen is the Starship software. Uh, so with Acumatica, the Acumatica integration, I have a couple different options for my source or how I want to pull in an order. So as you can see, I can go by sales order number, I can go by shipment number, or I can pull in by uh, customer number. Uh, most of our clients we find are using the shipment as the source. Um, now inside Acumatica, if I go into the shipment screen and actually define my shipment, like put my items in a box, um, Starship will pull in the order however I define it inside the um, Acumatica shipment screen. But here, I'm just going to type in a shipment that I haven't touched. Um, just basically created the shipment from the sales order. Uh, I can manually type in a shipment number. I do have the option of maybe if my pick sheets or whatever I'm shipping against are barcoded, I could use a regular wedge type scanner and just scan in that barcoded source document. We also have a lookup feature which would show me, in this case, all my shipments that I have. Um, from there, we can get into doing batch processing where I can select as many shipments as I'd like and then um, just process them. So with this, I'll just put in this order number 1391, or shipment number, I should say. And what Starship is going to do is retrieve all the order header as well as the line item detail from that shipment. So again, if I did define this in some packages inside shipping in Acumatica, it would pull it in. Um, in this case, again, I haven't touched anything. Um, our map fields can have a more than one too many relationships. So again, we're just going to look inside of Acumatica. We're mapping fields bidirectional. Um, so based off the ship via, our ship is automatically going to be able to select the carrier service billing type um, for this shipment. Okay, so that's the carrier, the service. The sender, of course, is the company inside of Acumatica that we're pulling the order from. So we do support multiple locations, companies, uh, warehouses if need. And the recipient, of course, is the ship to from the sales order. As you can see, automatically populated all that information, just brought it in from Acumatica. Uh, with the recipient address, Starship will do address validation. We do validate ZIP plus four. Uh, we will also validate the commercial residential flag. So we're going to help save on address correction fees and that commercial residential correction fee. Um, so we do have currently uh, about 26 different integrations with carriers. Um, and I'll get into that when I when I actually rate shop this. Um, in this scenario here, I get asked a lot, hey, what, what, how do I ship with a carrier if you don't have an integration with, or, or maybe we have a lot of customers, oh, you know, we ship, say, for Walmart, and we use their carrier with their account information. Um, so in, in those cases, we do have a bill of leading module, which allows you to manually add as many carriers as you'd like inside a Starship. Um, nice thing with this, again, if I'm doing third party or I'm shipping you know, on a customer's account or I don't need to rate shop or maybe I have a local carrier or use my own trucks, I can still automate my shipping process using these carriers. Um, it does, the only downside is I'm not going to be able to electronically like do the rate shopping for these carriers, uh, but I can most certainly still mainly type in a charge I can also type in pro numbers or scan in a pro number. A lot of carriers, the drivers will have barcoded um, labels with the pro number. So you can ask the driver. They would be more than happy to give those to you. So you can actually scan that in. So in this case, I'm just going to use this as ABC's trucking company. Maybe it's a local company, com uh, trucking company that I use. So that's what we're going to ship this with. Um, down below in the packaging view, this is the item to box detail. So as you can see with Starship, we're going to get into item to box, box to pallet detail. Uh, now, Starship automatically packaged these items for me. Uh, the, I have set up what we call packaging scenarios. So these packaging scenarios, Starship can automatically learn, or I can manually set them up. So in this case, I'm shipping this laptop. Starship knows that goes into a laptop box, and the air hockey goes into the air hockey case box. The pallet that I'm using, uh, I actually have that set up inside Starship. We allow you to set up your own boxes and pallets. Uh, so in here, I just have standard pallet. I have that as my default, so it automatically will put these boxes on that pallet. Okay, so with that, I can populate dimensions. Um, I can include tier weights. 
So in this case here, I'm just grabbing weights from Acumatica. Uh, I don't even need to put this on a scale, and I can also include the weight of the pallet. Um, again, without even have to throw this whole scale on a, or pallet on a scale. And then here's that the packaging. So I can set up boxes, bags, bales, uh, you know, what have you, whatever you need, bundles. Um, and nice thing with that again, dimensions are going to populate, and again, weights from scales. We can pull them in if you need to. We integrate with most scales, so Starship could automatically grab the weight from a scale for this shipment. The line item detail. So again, Starship is just pulling this from Acumatica, uh, but we also have our own database for your inventory items, and Starship will automatically start storing those. Uh, we do this because a lot of um, systems don't have spots for, like, say, NMFC codes, freight class, um, if international shipments, if anyone's doing international shipments, you know, Starship can store the country manufacturer. We have our own lookup for the harmonizer Schedule B codes. Um, so nice thing with that database that Starship has, if the information is missing in Acumatica, you know, Starship can automatically populate it when I do the shipment. Okay. So my items are automatically packaged for me. Uh, if I did need to do any packaging, I can, as you can see here, add boxes. I can add pallets. Uh, if I do do that, I could simply drag and drop items. I can hold down shift to select multiple items. You can get into doing control to split quantities if you need. So we do give you all that functionality of building the packaging right inside Starship. And of course, as you'll see in a little bit, we will write this information back into Acumatica. Right. So next step is rate shopping. Uh, so as I mentioned, Starship has integrations with about 26 different carriers. Um, and with that integration, that direct carrier module, you will be able to electronically rate shop your shipments right from Starship. We also have it as a standalone module. Um, so as you can see over here, I have a little on a desktop icon. I can actually have that. So maybe my order takers, they need to rate shop. They can actually rate shop at time of order by using the little standalone. Um, but as you can see here, we're going to just make the call. Again, I just have a couple different carriers set up here, um, but we do have about 26 different carriers. So we are sending these carriers. We're using their web API services. We're sending them your account information. We are going to return your live negotiated or contract rate that you have with the carrier. Okay, so these are live calls. This isn't uh, staging tables. Um, you know, tomorrow if they change a fuel surcharge and you rate tomorrow, you're automatically going to gain access to that new rate. Um, so the nice thing with this now, if you're currently doing LTL shipments, say you have four or five different LTL carriers, you're probably now going onto their website or calling each one individually and saying, you know, hey, here's what I'm shipping. How much is this going to cost? And then, of course, when you actually ship it, you have to do the same thing to notify them. Um, so, again, that Starship integration with those carriers automatically going to take care of that for you. It's going to do the rating. It's going to do the tendering. You know, most of them are going to return a pro number. Most of them you can generate their uh, the carrier's bill rating form. Uh, Starship does have its own bill rating forms you can use, and I will show you those as well. Okay. So we can rate shop. Uh, after we rate shop, I'm just going to click on this charge tab. Um, you click on this to show actually with Starship we can get into doing freight rules. Uh, so I don't have to click on this to actually process a shipment. Uh, but with Starship freight rules, you know, you can assign here. I actually have a couple. Let's see, the first one here is, oh, because it's uh, this is a set flat rate, we're going to charge this customer $250 because we are using ABC's trucking company. Okay, so there's a rule set up. There's my criteria. I'm just saying, hey, anytime the carrier is ABC, we charge a flat rate of $250. And then my second rule is, uh, it looks like uh, we have one. We're giving this customer a 10% discount because it is USA bartending school. Okay, so as you can see, these rules can be flat rates. It can be percentages, min maxes, and again, those triggers or the criteria uh, can be customer. It could be by carrier. It could go all the way down to line item detail. So, you know, if you happen to ship maybe an oversized item, you can simply say, hey, anytime item one, two, three, four is on an order, automatically add you know, maybe $20 because it's an oversized item. So again, we're going to bring in that order. We can do item to box detail, box to pallet detail. Uh, we can then rate shop. And then when we are ready to actually ship and process, we can click the ship and process button up here, or the F5 key is the shortcut key. Uh, with Starship, you can also save shipments. So maybe if you were staging one, 
uh, you know, maybe an item wasn't quite ready yet, you could actually start the process, save it, and come back and finish it later. So here, as I mentioned, Starship will generate your shipping document if needed. So here's our straight bill rating form. We do support straight and a VIC form. Um, that order header, light line of detail, is automatically going to populate on the document. And then the document can be customized. And as you can see here, I have the signature, the company name, date, number of pieces, all that kind of normal static information that I, as a shipper I would have to manually sign and fill out. I could actually have populate on the document automatically. Uh, with the documents, you can set up unlimited templates, and then on each template, assign a printing rule. So, you know, maybe if um, I know, like, say, Walmart has certain criteria for their bill rating form, you can simply create one for them. We actually do have a canned one um, that is meets all their requirements. Um, but again, you could set one up and then have a printing rule that says, hey, anytime. You know, this has to go to customer ABC, automatically use this document. And I'm also just previewing them. Uh, for the sake of the webinar, you don't have to preview them. Uh, you can if you want to. You can just have these go right to a printer, or you can even actually just save them to a, like a PDF network folder if you need to. And the next document we can generate is, um, is just a simple pallet label. Um, we can get into doing carton labels. I know nowadays a lot of the uh, trading partners, again, like Walmart, require a carton label so they know what's in each box. Um, so we can also generate those as well. But again, shipping process. As a shipper, I'm going to receive my shipping documents. Um, and then after that, I'm just kind of rinse, repeat cycle. I'm going to move on to my next shipment, simply select the next shipment number and and do the whole process over again. Switching gears here, I'll just jump back into oops, Acumatica and we'll show you the right back. Let me bring up that shipment number. So the packaging tab, as I mentioned, however I define my shipment inside Starship or inside this shipment tab, again, I didn't do this. Um, I did this right inside or had Starship automatically do it. So Starship can reverse translate those packages, the box ID that I, I have set up inside Acumatica and Starship. All right, so it's going to show what I package everything in. Uh, reference fields, it's up to you what you want to have right back. And here I'm just doing uh, the truck, the company, and then the ship date. Uh, tracking number, actually, on this one, because it was a manual um, carrier, uh, I did forget to type in the pro number, uh, but normally the pro number would write back. And then we also write all that information back on the notes tab. And it's up to you. Uh, this is how I have mine set up. This is the information that I like to see in the note. Um, through setup, you know, you can change, add, remove these fields. And then, of course, on the freight amount, we're going to write back freight amount. And if this was, again, processed through a carrier that I had a direct integration with, like, say, XPO or um, Southeastern, we would also write back in the freight cost your actual contract charge with the carrier. So you can actually compare the two values. Right. And then I'm just going to jump in and show you a couple additional uh, programs that are included with Starship. First one, this is our eNotify program. All right. And through eNotify, let me bring up an email here. You can design your own templates to send to your customers. So here, this is for the shipment we just processed. And, you know, put your company logo, build your brand awareness. Uh, in this case, you can do items. And if you wanted to item to box detail, you can show them what's been quantity ordered, quantity shipped. Okay. With these, you can also do, again, just like the shipping documents, unlimited templates. And then on each template, instead of printing rules, you can also assign uh, emailing rules. Uh, so maybe, you know, I want to give some customers a promo. I could set up a rule and have this email template with that promo code only go to those certain customers. Um, these can go as soon as your shipper clicks ship and process. You can delay them by a certain number of hours and or minutes, or you can have them all go at, say, 6 o'clock at night at one time if you really need to. And then our other included software is our dashboard, our reporting tool. So eNotify and Dashboard can be installed on as many workstations as you like. They do not require any additional seats or licenses for Starship. So with Starship, our seats are concurrent. So 
So you would need a seat for each shipper that's going to be logged into Starship shipping at the same time. So simple. I have two shippers shipping throughout the day. Simply just need two seats. Okay. If you have a morning crew and an afternoon crew, um, you could actually share those sheets, seats. With dashboard right now, I just have some performance indicators up here. So quick access to make my shipments, uh, shipment by carrier, shipment by user. Each of your users can have their own login into Starship. You can also assign different roles and rules. Uh, but here I can simply see who's been shipping what. Of course, in my system, I only have one shipper called admin. So I just have these one. But if I had a, multiple shippers, I could see a bar chart for each of my shippers. Um, shipment by mode. So I can see my parcel versus my freight. And of course, right from dashboard, if I did need to actually do tracking, I can track and drill down into these widgets even further. Right, so then I would gain access to this screen where I can see all the shipping information, line items, charges, and so on and so forth, all the way down to proof of delivery. If, it, if my carrier supports it and it was required, I could actually see the signature. Under the reports, we have a bunch of canned reports. Um, a couple of these, of course, all the you know daily shipment history, again, shipment by user. Um, we do have a late delivery report. Uh, so any if you do any expedited shipping, you could run this report and it would actually compare guarantee delivery date to the actual delivery date. It's gonna let you know of any shipment that was not delivered on time. So you can contact your carrier, try to get a refund. Um, and then a couple of these charge comparison reports, these are great reports that our customers do run. Um, we have an applied versus contract. So that is going to show you all your shipments. It's going to have a column for the applied. So that's what you charge the customer for a shipment. It's then going to compare it to your contract or a negotiated rate that you have with the carrier. And the third column, of course, is the plus or minus. So a quick report you can run. Make sure you're not losing money on your shipments. And then we also have the list first contract. It does the same thing, except that's just going to show you the list or the published rates. And in this case, it would be for, like, say, parcel shipments. So if you're doing UPS FedEx, you know, it would show you the list versus your contract. So you can take a look and see you know, how good of a deal you are getting with your carrier. And then maybe reach out to them and say, hey, you know, we've been shipping all this. We want to get a better, better rate. Work up to you. Um, so with that, it's really what I wanted to go through is just go process an LTL shipment. I know uh, currently Acumatica, you cannot process LTL shipments or um, even international shipments. And I think with Starship, we can handle both those types of shipments. And with Starship, it is multi-carrier, multi-mode. So it doesn't matter if I'm printing or shipping a parcel or an LTL shipment. I'm going to do all that right from Starship, you know, kind of one-stop shopping. I can rate shop. I can even really get into automating my whole shipping process where I showed you that rating tool. Uh, but we can also do ship via rules where I could set up Starship to automatically rate and then select the carrier and service based off my own rules. So, hey, you know what, Starship, automatically rate this, automatically select the carrier service that's the least expensive or maybe the least amount of delivery days. Uh, really up to you. But it's a nice thing with Starship. The name of the game is to automate your shipping, you know, really streamline it less things as a shipper that I have to manually fill out or manually type in. And of course, all the package options can be automated. And again, as I showed you, carrier service, billing type, you know, we can get into automating your third party or collect shipments by automatically selecting third party or collect and then automatically populating the customer's account information right with inside of Starship. Okay. Of course, as I showed you, get all that right back. That, I really appreciate everyone taking their time out of their day. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any further questions or would like to schedule a demo. Thanks so much and have a good one.